Good evening, everyone. I'll be right with you. I'll just give everybody a chance to chime in. Hi, Fran. Welcome. Hi, Carol. I'll just give it about 30 more seconds and then we'll get started. Hi, Lisa. Okay, we're going to get started. Hi, Jan. So tonight, I already gave you guys what you needed for supplies, but I'm going to go over them with everyone in case someone's stamping with me tonight. If you missed my video, I had a video a couple hours ago showing um, everyone how to make the lip balm container or, or holder. These, This is the one that I got at OnStage this past weekend, and then I showed these two that I made. So if you missed it, there's a lip balm inside this. There's no glue involved. And you can just scroll down on my Facebook page, and I showed you how to make this. It's so quick and simple. So that was video number one for today. Hi, Donna. Hi, Sue. Hi, Kelly. Oh, Carol had knee surgery. My husband just had knee re uh, replacement surgery. Hopefully hers goes as well as his does. Hi, Karen. Hi, Wendy. Okay, let's get started. So here's the measurements for all the cardstock that we needed for tonight. So I'm just going to go over all of the layers. Cajun Craze 11 by 4 and a quarter. Whisper White, we needed three pieces four by five and a quarter for the inside four and a quarter by four and three quarter for the front and then a scrap and then i'm using the delightful daisy designer paper two strips they are the same um length we're all gonna we're gonna cut this one a little bit i just figured while i was cutting this size that i'd go the same length but uh four and a quarter on both Half an inch on this one, three quarters of an inch on this one. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Barb. Hi, Patricia. Hi, Katie. And then Cajun Craze, four and a quarter by a quarter of an inch. I'm using the Colorful Season stamp set tonight. And I'm using all three of the leaf images. And then for the sentiment, I'm using, let me peek. You make me smile. So you can use any sentiment for what we're going to be doing tonight. Hi, Karen. Hi, Katie. Hi, Diane. Hi, Jane. Okay. We also need three circle punches. Half inch, three quarter inch, one inch. Stamping dimensionals and mini dimensionals. I'm using three um, sponge daubers to go with all the ink colors. Cajun Craze, Tangerine Tango, and Crushed Curry. Um, and lastly, the Fine Tip Glue Pen and the Metallic Sequins. And I've got three little piles of three here just so they'll be easy for me to get to once I get creating. So let's get started. Let me just move everything aside. And I suppose you want to see the card that we're going to be creating. Hi, Jane. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Brianna. This is the card we're going to be creating. So we're going to have some cascading leaves. And then we're going to do the spotlight technique. So you can see that I've got four little circles here that are raised. Okay. It is a fallish card. I like fall colors. I like the regals. So the first thing we're going to do is bring in the white. Now, because this is two-step stamping, these leaves are the same size. They coordinate with each other. I find, this is my way of doing this, that the line image is easier to stamp first, and then I fill in. So I'm going to go ahead and bring the Cajun Craze in. And again, people are stamping with me, so I'm going to go a little slower than I normally do to give people a chance to stay caught up with me. So I'm going to do three leaves, just like that. And then I'm also going to stamp the sentiment because we're using the same color. 
So if you're stamping with me, go ahead and do your leaves. And then we'll bring in the leaves that we're going to ink for um, with color. Hi, Kim. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Karen. I think I said hi, Karen, already. I can't remember. A lot of people chiming in. I'm just going to prepare my punches while you guys get caught up. Okay, now, if you'll notice, I have three colors on my leaves. That I, I ended up um, inking all of my leaves with the sponge daubers. So we're going to start out with the lightest color first, Cajun Craze. And I'm just going to pounce. Next is Tangerine Tango. And then Cajun Craze. And then we're going to line that up to fill in the first leaf image. Okay, there's leaf number one. We're going to repeat this three times. So crushed curry first, tangerine tango, and Cajun craze. I know a lot of people probably saw my announcement tonight, uh, today on Facebook. I uh, ended up earning the trip to the Greek Isles today because of all my customers and team. That's the trip that Dave and I will be taking in July of 2019 because this year we go to Alaska. So thank, thanks to everybody that's on my team and thanks to everybody that's a customer of mine. You guys all helped me uh, earning the trip. Very exciting. A lot of hard work involved. Okay, and there's leaf number three. So isn't that neat how the colors, the three colors that are sponged on there, how neat that is? Okay, now we're going to bring in the smaller leaf. And I'm going to put the Cajun Craze ink away. Actually, I'll probably need it for the inside. Yep, I do. You know what? If you, if you, um, we might as well do the inside while we're doing this. Let me show you what that looks like. That way we can put our inks away when we're done. So I'm just doing the strip and the one leaf on the inside. Oh, thanks for the congratulations, everyone. I, I just am so excited. Okay, so we're going to do one more of, with the sponge. And even though I'm using leaves tonight, you can do this card using um, something else too. You could do snowflakes, um, hot air balloons, I mean anything really that you can uh, spread out like I just did. Okay, this one's for the inside. So I'm going to put that aside. So that's all you need to do for the inside. Now let's bring in the small leaf and I'm going to just use crushed curry and tangerine tango on this one. And we'll put one up top. And then I'll have one coming down this way. I'm pressing a little too hard on my stamp. I did a little boo-boo there, but that's okay. And then this one goes right on the edge over here. Okay, that's it for stamping. So let me put these away. Oh, Karen, no snowflakes. I know, we still have, believe it or not, my husband went snowmobiling today. Um, we have tracks on our four-wheeler, and he went, he went probably for the last time, but there's still a lot of snow here. It's pretty discouraging. Okay, I'm just going to let everybody catch up. If you're caught up, the next step is going to be to bring in the circle punches and the scrap piece of white. 
I think we're skipping right over spring anyway. We're going from winter to summer. That's what I believe. Okay, now what we need to do, I'm going to start with the one inch punch. And I'm going to punch the, the leaf from the top. So you just kind of punch in the center. And as you're punching them out, place them so you'll know which leaf, uh, which circle goes with which. Now I'm going to do this one off to the side because I went a little too deep with this one. So this one's going to go off to the side. And then let's do... I didn't place my leaves like I did on my first one. This one's too far to reach. But let me do this one with a smaller punch. And then the one up here. So because I can't really reach this one, let me see if I can reach part of it. I'm going to do part of it with a three quarter inch punch. Okay, so those go like this. I don't want to mix them up because we need to put them back where they belong. So now I'm going to score my Cajun craze at five and a half. And then you can go ahead and fold your cardstock. Okay, I'm just going to wait a couple more seconds for everybody to be caught up. Karen, I was thinking the same thing, bling to the rescue. We can put a sequin right there where I, I pressed a little too hard. I even tried this with my, um, my stamp and pierce mat and the leaf just didn't want to stamp correctly for some reason. Okay, so the next step with the scrap, you need to cut the same amount of circles that you just cut out. So we need two of the one inch. One with the three quarter inch, depending on how many you cut. And then I have two with the half inch. And we're all done with the punches. The reason I'm doing that is I didn't want the dark cardstock to show up underneath. So we're, what we're going to do is glue this in place on the front. And I am adding a lot more glue than I normally do because I want to glue, I want to make sure around the circles isn't going to lift up. So then we're going to place this even with the top and the sides. And then I'm going to bring in the liquid glue and just fill in all of my circles. And we're going to fill in each circle with a white circle. Now this would be the opposite of the eclipse technique where you do want the dark to show up. Okay, now I'm going to bring in my scissors and just trim the ends a little bit. And then we need to bring in the stamping dimensionals. and put them right over the circles you just glued in place. We're going to need the mini ones for the smaller circles. Now, if you'll notice, I didn't trim this one even though it's sticking out because I'm going to have a piece of cardstock going over that, so you don't really need to. So now all you need to do is find the ones that you punched out and line them up perfectly. So if you've never done the spotlight technique before, that just means you're spotlighting um, specific areas of your card. So you can go ahead and glue those all in place. Get two more.
Hello to my hubby and hello to Ruger. Ruger loves hearing you guys tell him hi. Ruger's our beagle. Okay, those are all glued in place. The next step is going to be to glue the designer paper in place. And that goes on the very bottom. And then we have the little Cajun craze strip. And I'm just gonna use liquid glue for that. Whoops. Okay, now let's do the inside. So we are gonna have to trim this one just a little bit on the end. And then we'll glue this layer to the inside. Oh, Sandy, Dave had his done in November, his knee replacement. He's going to have his other one done next November. He did really good with his. Glad to hear you're doing good. Okay, the last step is to add the sequins. So I'm going to bring those in. Okay, I'm going to try to sneak one right here where I made a boo-boo. So I'll just move my clusters is all. So I'm doing clusters of three. These sequins come in different sizes. So see how I just covered that boo-boo? Now you can't even see that I messed up there. Let's add three more down here. I'm trying to remember if these, um, I think the sequins are going to be in the new catalog. Oh, I just took one out, it stuck right to my finger. I need my little toothpick with a little, um, with a little glue on the end. Okay, let me go get another one because that one went flying somewhere. Now I have glue all over my fingers so I can't get it. <laughs> Okay, let's add one here and then two down here. And I agree, bling for the boo-boos is, is perfect. Now I gotta dig more out. See, I thought I had this all under control. I had them all out ready to go. And I still need one more. Okay, and that's it for the card. So this is the multiple spotlight technique. And if you guys joined in, please go ahead and take a picture of your cards and add them to the comments so I can share them later. I love showing everybody uh, what you guys do when you take the class with me. So that's it for tonight. Thanks so much for coming, uh, coming to stamp with me. And next Wednesday, I did have a request for a card uh, that I showed last night um, that Regina Grant stamped for my swaps. And I'm going to use that for my next Wednesday's class. So I'll list all the supplies you need again on Sunday night. Have a good remainder of the week, everyone. And thanks for coming to stamp with me. Good night.